What's up out there? We are back with Melver Idol Hardcore. This is Gen 2 and Episode 2. Um, in the last episode, I started off with just some basic, you know, wood cutting and fishing and everything and kind of got up to where I could unlock agility, which costs some gold. And the purpose for getting agility unlocked so early is number one all of the bonuses that it gets but number two this thing's a money maker um you don't have to spend any resources to get to this necessarily whereas say like when i first started with wood cutting and fishing everything that came up or got chopped or whatever had to get sold to you know pay for things with this this is going to fuel everything cash wise and if I need money, I'm just going to start the obstacles. And I also said that I was going to try to, um, uh, if you've ever looked up like tying shoelaces, I always knew of one way to tie shoelaces. Well, apparently there's like a million different ways to tie shoelaces. And I used that analogy for how I wanted to proceed forward is to let agility dictate how things went and where that shoelace, you know, what holes the shoelace went into is what you know, agility is going to do. Now, where that became really uh, something I could demonstrate is this one here. Like if you look at this, this particular, uh, what are we on? One, two, three, four, five. On agility, these first four I could buy just by paying gold. That's it. All I had to do is pay some gold. Once I hit this point, it started wanting me to be a certain level in Slayer or fishing or whatever. So there started to become level, you know, there started to become level requirements. And that kind of became a no-no because I just don't have, I didn't want to put the effort into getting those just yet. But there was this one for combat. Basically, I just had to go get some bones. So I went and killed a couple of Golden Villages off and got up a thousand bones. Now, in the process of doing that, I had to do a few other you know, put the lace in a few other holes. So that obviously means combat and combat means armor and weapons and things like that. So you'll see that my mining's up to 37. Uh, the smithing is up to 44. I went ahead and smithed up almost all of the um, uh, steel gear here. I need the plate legs and the plate body. I just haven't gotten a back. I haven't gone back to do that yet. So I'm pretty much rocking um, iron plate body and steel stuff right now. Got these two pieces that need to be uh, changed. But with this, and actually I started off with a full set of bronze gear, and then I went to a full set of iron gear, and I'm working on a full set of steel gear. For one, um, you're level locked onto what you can use. Like steel plate body is defensive five. So we can more than hit that. I could probably move up to mithril and adamant, um, which I'm going to do at some point. But the other side of the coin is if you're going for completionist, it's probably best to create one of these items as you go. So then you've just knocked it off the list. So I know right now that I have these two left to go. So I'm going to go create those at some point, um, maybe today or tomorrow or something. And then I'm going to get started on, uh, I guess, mithril gear. Um, the mithril sword would be a nice upgrade. And attack level 20, we're there. So... Adamant probably is 30 or 50 or something like that. So keeping these things moving forward um, is a good thing. And keeping the items opened up is a good thing too. Now, the other thing that I'm going to have to do, and I didn't, I, I forgot, I guess. These things all have upgrades. So I'm going to need a bunch of uh, silver and gold to get like these shields. And I think some of the other parts like this, the plate body and everything. So, and I'm going to have to do that for, I don't know if bronze had the upgrades, but there's definitely upgrades for like iron and steel and, you know, everything that goes along. So I'm probably going to do a silver and gold mining and smithing stint here, but that's neither here nor there. That's kind of where all these threads just kind of go because it's a brand new account. There's a lot of things that need done. Uh, everything contributes towards skill XP and mastery XP. So I don't care what I'm running at this point. I don't have any really strong goals. You saw where we ended up with, um, the other hardcore. Uh, so this one's going to have a few different goals, a few different paths, and we're going to see how all that shakes out. So coming back around to the agility, this one, this mountain climb here required something. 
And all of these were just way too much to go get. Like I haven't even started farming yet. I a little bit. I haven't really started on Slayer stuff. You know, all of these are out of reach. Level 60, no, nah, I'm not going to hit that. But um, I can hit the bones. You know, that it was a thousand bones at the time. Now it's down to 760 uh, because the leveling requirements have gone down as I've, you know, leveled this thing up um, or as I've used this. But then this one here, I think this one was just an outright purchase. I think, yeah, this here. So I'm losing some skill XP, but getting some uh, agility XP, and that's fine. Or agility interval, I should say. That makes the agility run faster, so this time rate goes down with this agility interval, which is um, awesome, because really all I care about is making money. So every roughly 30 seconds, I'm making three grand. And you can see I have 3.6 million gold. Uh, then I took this one here. Um, what did we take? The preserve resources. That's... I, that one kind of sucks because that puts me in a deficit for all of those, but I didn't want to take the, the skilling XP because I, I want my skilling to go forward. Um, and preserving resources isn't necessarily a big thing at this moment because the stuff that we're going to go to next is going to be wood cutting, fishing, and probably fire making. So, and I'm going to retool some of this because I know there's some, um, fire making stuff in here. And that, like right here, this will get changed over to fire making once I level that up a bit. This one will probably get changed over to this fire making here. Uh, so these will get retooled. I want as much agility bonuses as possible now because now I'm doing this. Uh, we're up to level 80 with this arrangement here. In fact, I got to level 72 with just these four uh, because I needed so much money for this. And I don't know, I think that's pretty good. I think that's a, a good money maker, you know, and good to have this so high a level now, because when I come back to trying to do some of these other obstacles, like I can do, well, I can do eight and nine right now. Uh, 10 will probably be a, a ways out, but um, the problem is I'm stuck. I need level 70 of something to unlock this. But look at the payouts on this. This thing's four grand. If I save up for, say, this one here, 41 98 you know that's a pretty pretty good chunk of money here's 4500 so all i have to do is get strength and uh, uh health up and then four and a half million plus the, the damage to all monsters and hit points this might be a worthy goal to go for uh gonna have to get some fishing done gonna have to get some slayer done and gonna have to get these done but that's probably may might be the next one i aim for because that's a healthy chunk of gold. And really what I want out of agility at this point is gold. But that's that's a blocker. That's something that I have to stop at this point and say, all right, I can't go any further on agility. I can try to work up towards this. You know, we're going to have to work on strength and stuff. So how are we going to go forward? Um, right. Well, actually, let me back up. Let me show you the benefits of um, the agility and the coin that I've got. I have 60 slots in my inventory right now. I can I can get the last 30, I think, pretty easily. Uh, I tick those off. I can get auto-eat tier 2 pretty quickly now. Uh, this extra dungeon set, if I let this thing run for a few days, I could get 10 million. I don't want to wait for this, though, and I don't want to wait for this. Uh, I'm probably going to fill out my bank slots, and I'm going to... This is 2 million, so we're going to need like 2, 4, 6 million here um, for this. So as we transition to other things, I've already banked up 2 million for this. I can get a bunch of the fishing rods going. And then the more uh, mining I do, you know, I can either stop and get more gold from agility or uh, maybe some of the money will pick up as we do some of these other things. So basically that's, that's kind of where we're at. That's kind of where we're going. I don't have a forward plan at this point. I might let agility run all day today and work on other things. I plan on doing the adventure uh, video tonight. Uh, that's why I wanted to get this one out and get this stuff going. And if this just does nothing but sit and run agility for a couple of days, I don't care because that's going to put a lot of money in the bank and that's going to have a lot of things. Like I won't have to stop when I hit level 80 on wood cutting. I'm not going to have to stop and mine and go fetch 2 million gold. It's there. I'm not going to have to stop at any point in this. Uh, Auto-eat 
you know, auto eat tears and things that'll come over time. That's 5 million. That's a lot. 30 million, 10 million. That's a lot of gold. Uh, but we're right there with agility to just continue forward with that. Uh, the bank slots and stuff. I'm going to probably go ahead and unlock all the bank slots now. And that's done. No, I'm sorry. 20. I only get 20. There's 80, I think. 80 is your cap. Uh, 90 with the agility pillar. Um, so at any rate, oh, and that also lets, lets me fuel um, leather for crafting and feathers for fletching, bowstrings, because I've got just a good money source now. Gold in this game is nothing more than a resource. It's no different than these summoning shards. It's just another thing you have to grind out. And I was thinking about that this morning. Agility is that grind. Um, if you turn agility, if you get agility lined up correctly, and, and this isn't even optimized. Like I don't even have the most money coming off of this thing. You know, um, this one's 884. I could be getting a thousand if I did this, but it's got some requirements to it that I can't meet. So at any rate, I'm kind of getting away from it, but you should be seeing what I'm mean when I say agility is a really solid skill to have. So we've also got all these bonuses coming. Oh yeah, there's this 15% gold from here too. So um, more more agility interval off, more agility interval off, more more gold from agility. Um, these two will definitely change once we're not leveling uh, agility anymore. But I mean, just the bonuses here are just awesome. So that's where this is going. And I had a really interesting question posed to me the other day. And I, it kind of, at first, I, I, I read the question and I'm like, well, that's a no brainer. You go do this. And then the more I thought about it, I'm like, well, maybe not. Maybe there is some benefits. And the question is, in, and I don't have the answer for it because I'm not playing that mode yet, but in adventure mode, is it more beneficial to go with agility or summoning? And at first, you know, my first thought is to say, well, you go with agility because, you know, agility, it's got all these bonuses and everything. But then I thought about it a little bit and I'm like, you know what? Summoning might not be bad for adventure mode. So, um, oh, I did finally get this unlocked too. I've got up to level 11. I've been running the, I had, I was running these, the Golden Thieves. I crafted some of those up just so I could get this leveled up and get these unlocked. But at any rate, the conversation is agility versus summoning. And in adventure mode, in this mode here, because I have no limitations, I know adventure mode has certain limitations. I'm not sure exactly what they are yet, but I know there's certain limitations. In standard and hardcore, there's no limitations for leveling or skills or anything. So agility would be the better choice i think here but in adventure mode if there's going to be some limitations this one here might not be the bad way to go uh because it offers you the tablets and things to give you bonuses i mean sure you have to stop and craft them but if you have some limitations on how far you can take agility like i can take agility up to level 99 right now from you know i could let it go it, it, it's very inefficient but I could let this thing run until it hits 99 and be done with it. Um, I know there's caps in adventure though. And with caps, the summoning may make more difference because you could periodically stop and tap off, um, top off your uh, tablets and you're going to get those benefits. Whereas agility, it might not work out as well as I think it would in adventure mode, but that's adventure mode. And <clears throat> like I said, I, I haven't had the video. I haven't had a chance to start that yet. I hope I get time tonight. I wanted to get brain dumped on this character first. <clears throat> that way I've got this out of the way. If I do nothing but run agility for the next few days, I don't care. Uh, because adventure mode is going to be the next focus. And whatever this one does, it just does. I'm fine with that. Um, oh, I also bought um, the multi-tree cut. That was a $2 million purchase. But because I'm already parked on agility and because I've already banked all that gold, I've got that. So tree cutting is probably going to be next. And I may focus on getting each one of these into level 99 mastery down here before I move on to the next. I know I did, I skipped around to level up, but with the multi tree cut, I may go ahead and finish these off. Uh, that way this will hit level 99 at some point. I'm not worried about when, but getting these, I'm going to try to focus on completion on this. Um, I know where I made some mistakes on my first account, my first hardcore character, 
<clears throat> at least dying wise, I should say. But on this character, I want to focus on trying to get the completion done. So I'm going to take it a little bit slower. We're going to hit the dungeons and everything, but I want to hit... I'd love to hit 99 on everything, get all the skill stuff maxed out. I would love to get all the mastery stuff done. Um, I would love to get completion done with this character, if possible. So I want to front load all this as much as possible, meaning that frees up time that I can go work on adventure mode without having to think about what this character is going to do that much. See what I'm saying? So because I have to film all this and do everything, so I'm going to try to focus as much on like say completing all of these skills and getting the masteries done before I focus too much on end game and all that kind of thing. Uh, the first several dungeons and slayer stuff is pretty basic. It shouldn't be that difficult, but that's it. That's all we got for right now. And that's going to do it for this episode. So we will catch you on the next one. And hopefully that is going to be adventure mode coming out tomorrow or later tonight. We will see Take care.